Iberian ribbed newt, the self-impaling salamander. Nature can be brutal, but the Iberian ribbed newt decided to make it artistic. This tiny amphibian, found in Spain and Morocco, has a defense mechanism so extreme it sounds like body horror. When threatened, the newt impales itself. Yes, literally, its sharp ribs pivot forward through its skin, transforming into miniature spears coated in poison. The attacker gets a mouthful of venomous needles, and the newt just shrugs it off. Its skin heals in a few hours, no infection, no problem. Imagine if every time you got scared, your bones just stabbed outward like wolverine, except you stayed calm about it. The ribs themselves are coated in toxins from glands on the skin, creating a venom-tipped armor from the inside out. This means the newt's own skeleton is both weapon and shield. And yet, despite being a walking horror movie, it's oddly serene. It glides through ponds, nibbling on insects, completely chill, unless something tries to eat it. Then, suddenly, it becomes a medieval weapon rack. In a world where most animals grow fangs or claws, the Iberian ribbed newt said, I am the weapon. Skunk, the chemical warfare expert. Some animals fight, others flee. The skunk? It declares chemical war. This black and white furball is cute until it's not. Its weapon, a pair of anal glands that can shoot sulfur-based musk with sniper accuracy up to three meters of range. It's not just smelly, it's chemical burn smelly. The spray can cause nausea, blindness, and existential regret. The skunk's warning system is cinematic. Tail up, feet stomping, hiss. The biological equivalent of loading a shotgun. Most predators know better. Even bears turn away. The musk itself is a mix of thiols, compounds that latch onto your nose's receptors like glue. Once sprayed, you're marked. Soap won't save you, tomato juice won't either. The only cure is time and humility. Skunks rarely waste ammo. They can only fire five or six times before they need days to reload. So they're deliberate, cool, composed little stink ninjas. It's nature's ultimate non-lethal deterrent. You don't die from a skunk attack. You just wish you had. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Bombardier Beetle, the explosive insect. Meet the Bombardier Beetle, the only creature that treats chemistry like warfare. When threatened, this small insect fires boiling, noxious liquid from its abdomen. It's not just hot, it's literally a chemical explosion. Inside its body, two chambers mix hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinone, catalyzed by enzymes to ignite a reaction reaching nearly 100 degrees Celsius. That's right, this beetle carries a built-in flamethrower. When danger approaches, the chemicals mix and pop. A tiny steam explosion sprays the attacker in scalding, stinking mist. The beetle can aim with precision, pivoting like a miniature tank turret. It doesn't kill predators. It humiliates them. Frogs spit it out. Spiders let go. Scientists studying it needed lab goggles. It's one of the most advanced defensive systems in the natural world. A micro factory of chemistry, perfected over millions of years. While most insects rely on camouflage, the bombardier beetle relies on thermodynamics. It's not fast, not strong, not smart, just armed with enough chemistry to qualify for a weapons license. When it fires, you can almost hear nature whisper, safety's off. Texas horned lizard, the blood shooting reptile. If looks could kill, the Texas horned lizard would still prefer blood its own blood. When threatened, this spiky reptile performs one of the strangest defenses in nature. It shoots blood from its eyes. Tiny vessels around its eyelids rupture on command, squirting jets of blood up to two meters toward a predator's face. The blood smells and tastes foul, a biochemical cocktail that repels coyotes and cats. The effect is horrifying. Imagine a small, spiny creature suddenly bursting a stream of blood from its face while glaring at you. 
even predators stop and reconsider their life choices. When not performing live horror shows, it's actually adorable, flat, spiky, and harmless to humans. It feeds on ants, basking in deserts of the American Southwest, perfectly camouflaged against sand. But its arsenal doesn't stop at ocular blood cannons. Its spines deter bites, and its camouflage makes it nearly invisible. In short, it's a biological prank that doubles as defense, a reptile that wins fights by being disgusting. Pistol Shrimp, the underwater sniper. If the ocean had hitmen, Pistol Shrimp would run the syndicate. Barely five centimeters long, this tiny crustacean carries a single oversized claw that can snap shut so fast it creates a bubble hotter than the surface of the sun, over 4,700 degrees Celsius. The collapsing bubble generates a shock wave that stuns or kills prey instantly. It's literally shooting plasma. When the bubble bursts, it emits a snap so loud it can reach 200 decibels, louder than a gunshot. Whole schools of fish scatter. In some navies, clusters of pistol shrimp have even interfered with sonar readings. The shrimp then drags its stunned victim home, calmly cleaning its claw like a cowboy reloading a revolver. Its entire weapon is biological physics. No fire, no venom, just raw speed and pressure. You don't need size when you can summon miniature explosions. The pistol shrimp doesn't fight fair, it fights loud. Hairy frog, the wolverine of amphibians. Nature looked at the hairy frog and said, make it horrifying. Found in Central Africa, this frog breaks its own bones to grow claws. When threatened, it literally snaps the bones in its toes and forces them through the skin, creating instant daggers. These bone claws aren't sheathed. They pierce straight through flesh. When danger passes, the bones retract and heal. It's the amphibian version of Wolverine, minus the healing factor's politeness. The males also grow hair-like filaments along their sides during breeding season, not for looks, but for oxygen absorption while guarding eggs, a dad with claws and gills. Locals call it the horror frog, and rightly so. Its skin can heal repeatedly without infection, meaning it can stab and recover endlessly. If it were human, It'd be that guy at the bar who says, I heal fast. The hairy frog proves one thing. You don't need armor or venom to be scary. Sometimes, bones are enough. Cassowary, the murder bird. Australia's deadliest weapon isn't a snake or spider. It's a bird. The cassowary, a six-foot-tall cousin of the ostrich, is armed with a dagger-like claw on each foot. One kick can disembowel a human, and it's fast, up to 50 kilometers per hour. Cassowaries normally eat fruit, wandering rainforests like prehistoric sentinels, but provoke one, and you're suddenly in Jurassic Park. Their legs deliver lethal force, their claws slice like knives, and their armor-like feathers deflect brush and branches as they charge. Even their heads look weaponized. That bony crest, or cask, acts like a built-in helmet, letting them run through undergrowth without slowing down. Cassowary attacks are rare, mostly because everyone's terrified of them. But when they do strike, it's fast, silent, and surgical. In short, the cassowary isn't a predator. It's just evolution's way of reminding Australia who's boss. Hedgehog, the adorable weapon ball. Don't be fooled by the cuteness. The hedgehog is a landmine in fur. Its back is covered in thousands of stiff spines, modified hairs made of keratin. When threatened, it curls into a perfect ball, leaving nothing exposed but a forest of needles. Those spines aren't poisonous, but they're perfectly angled to deter anything from biting. Even large predators like foxes walk away bleeding and confused. To enhance the effect, hedgehogs sometimes anoint their spines with saliva or even venomous substances they find. Rubbing in toxic plants or insect secretions like tiny chemical alchemists, they're quiet, solitary, and extremely chill until they aren't. One poke, 
and suddenly you're hugging a cactus. Evolution didn't make hedgehogs fast or strong. It made them annoying to eat, and that's often enough. Mantis shrimp, the undersea brawler. If the pistol shrimp is a sniper, the mantis shrimp is a heavyweight boxer. Barely 10 centimeters long, it has clubs that punch so fast they create cavitation bubbles, tiny pockets of boiling water that release shock waves on impact. Each strike hits with the force of a bullet. It can break aquarium glass, crack crab shells, and dismember prey before it even realizes what happened. The punch travels at 80 kilometers per hour, so fast that it momentarily heats the water to thousands of degrees. Light flashes, tiny thunder underwater, but its weapons aren't just physical, its vision is insane. Mantis shrimp can see polarized light and up to 16 color channels, making human eyesight look like dial-up internet. When it punches, it's not just instinct, it's precision. You can't train a mantis shrimp. It already sees the world in bullet time. This isn't an animal. It's a fist with eyes. Armadillos, the living shields. While most animals evolved to fight, armadillos evolved to not care. These little tanks are covered in bony plates called osteoderms, nature's medieval armor. When threatened, some species, like the three-banded armadillo, curl into perfect spheres, sealing every gap. Predators bite, scratch, even throw them, and bounce off. Their armor isn't just tough, it's flexible, layered, and lightweight. Scientists have studied it for potential body armor designs because it can absorb impact without breaking. But armadillos aren't passive. They can dig faster than you can blink, burrowing into safety in seconds. And if you try to grab one mid-run, it'll leap straight up, up to a meter high. It's a defense system that's part shield, part escape pod. Armadillos don't need claws or venom. Their entire existence is summed up in one vibe. Try me. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.